Ooh, check that out. Bait store right at the boat launch. Can't beat that. Nice school of mullet there. I don't see mullet that often around here in any big numbers. It's unfortunate I could use them, but and that would be just too nice if I was going after a big tarpon. And that's full of uh, glass minnows there, all through there. But we've got a beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Super spectacular. Uh, however, the uh, water levels are low. You can kind of see the flats are almost getting exposed. I don't know where in the tides we're at. I didn't check. It was just too nice of a day regardless. But this is where I fell. Right on my side. That didn't start off well. But uh, let's head on out. See, they're not even nervous. I could whack those guys. That would be too easy. Check out my new hatch. My other one. I, my foot fell through the hole because this lid uh, edge right here, which holds the, the uh, cover on, pushed through because it broke. It snapped right here and just sucked all the way through. But fortunately, I got a new one really quickly or a used one for $22. Got that installed yesterday did a really heavy duty weld job on this crack that i had that's continuing to crack so i double wire meshed it filled it full of uh goo there so that should be solid we're keeping it together well we made it about i don't know 30 feet from the launch and i see my tarpon already ready for me there was one over here but he moved up there's two of them there yeah we might as well get things ready at least I don't have my anchor or anything ready but we can drop it over and stop for now Oh, that's perfect. All right. Get the fly rod. Those are some decent sized ones too. I'm a bit close. Let's see if we could get them to sneak out of there. It's going to be tough. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, what the heck? Right now, I think they're just in survival mode. Oh, there's the other one. There's the other one. Oh, he's coming out. They're both coming out. There it is. Come on. Even though it's pretty thin, that batch there is keeping them sheltered. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he twitched at it. Or he's twitching at something. I'm going to get stuck in these trees here. Oh. He's doing that weird twitch thing. All right. Let me try a bonefish jig. Since we can... Big... Um, all right. We'll go with the little brown here. Gotta be difficult, don't ya? Oh, there it is. Oh, he's looking at it. He wants it. Oh, dang it. Oh, the snappers spooked him. The snappers hit it and spooked him. He's gonna come back though. They don't know. They're right there. He'll come back around. Oh, he is like, where you going, man? 
Oh no. Oh, that didn't that didn't help. Oh, 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 oh. Get in front of him. Get in front of him. At least I turned him. That's the bigger one. The other one's coming going around that way. Oh, oh, there he goes. He's looking. Oh, nope. That that was Oh, the other one will kit because he doesn't know any better. They're both kind of spooked. Yeah, they're really spooked. I kind of fubbed that up, but then again, this wasn't the this wasn't the optimum setup here. Oh, that one's coming back. Ouch! Right in the thumb. All right, let's see if we can ambush him. He's got to come down this little rail right here. There he is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. He wants it. Oh, he's scared of it. He was scared of it. Weird. All right. Smartest thing to do. Oh, there he is. They don't want stuff on the bottom. That's why the Shimano is so effective. Oh, oh, there he is looking for it. Oh, those snappers. Ooh, well, that's Kuda. All right, I'm wasting time. Let's get out of here. All right, so the plan of the day, I got my flat shirt on. Bonefish. Bonefish is on the menu. Um, although it might change because the tide is low. Um, basically, I've got now set up about five different bonefish spots linked up so I could just hit them one after another. So I'm very efficient about it. Uh, but they're all kind of mid to high water spots. So it kind of throws things off, but still I'm going to make a run through them. You never know. They could be a, a, a skinny water uh, spots as well. You never know unless you try. So that's what we're going to do right now. Got to get away from those tarpon. Those will always be there. Uh, these bonefish are a little bit more technically difficult. So uh, let's go see if we can find some. Uh, the first spot last summer, I started seeing them in this channel on the Gulf side. Uh, I had to find them in the sand pockets in order to see them. But uh, do a quick run through here and see if I see anything. Right around here, these pocket areas, I'm going the wrong direction because they'll be facing me. Let me get these rods down. Here I would be able to see their tails. They'll usually be packed up in a little school. Alright, not seeing anything. Gotta put this down so we don't ram into the wall here. Well, normally I would uh, just put a quick run through here, see if I see anything in this channel on the way out to the flats holes. But right now, with as low as the water is, uh, those are kind of going to be uh, blown out, so I think I'm going to spend a little bit more quality time in the channel itself and then maybe run out to the outer edges of the flats to get at least to a foot deep of water. But I'm going to just scan across here, see if I could see any of them laid up. And I might switch to the quarter ounce bonefish jig because we're in such deep water. All right, so the channel was a bust. So now I'm looking at oh, those things over there at the uh, end of the channel flats, looking at all these sand spots for any movement. Have not seen anything. So that's going to verify the high tide is muy importante. All right, now we're going to move to spot, what, one, two, three, spot four, which is the inside potholes on the flats. Not expecting much because, again, 
wrong tide conditions, but you never know unless you try, so it's on the way. All right, now we're on step five, the last of my spots over here. Yeah, and it's definitely too skinny. But we'll take a look around. The tarpon guys have left, so I might just do that afterwards. We'll come up with a different plan, but I'll spend a little bit of time going out into the deeper edge, but it's just so flat even way out there that those bonefish don't want to be on this side of it. But you never know, so let's check it out. The inside flats where I was finding them is too shallow, so I'm gonna go out to these secondary flats work along there that's generally where the big tarpon are at when the water's higher but they're going to be farther out than that but maybe there'll be some bonefish or permit on that outside edge waiting yeah see that's one of the tarpon guys he just came right over here slowed down took a look at it and just said nope later <laughs> so they're going to move to the main channel down there all right, so here's that secondary edge. It kind of wraps around here and goes through there. So I'm just gonna work this edge and follow the, the dark spots all the way around there. See if I see anything. This is normally where the tarpon would follow this route through here, but it's gonna be too shallow for them. Oh, well, I just saw my first bonefish. Man, it just shot out of here so fast. Alright, that checks off number five. Big donut holes. But yeah, wrong tide. So, plan B it is. <laughs> Gotten to be a little blowy out here. Wind against the tide. Alright. Got a little wind blockage here, white sandy bottom. We're gonna do a little bit of big tarpon scouting. All the flats boats pretty much left when the wind picked up. But we'll see if we can find any schools out here, if it's worthwhile to get the big fly rod and come out here. There are one guys over there. All I'm doing is looking for schools of them, just looking for black patches like that. A group of them except that it's moving and then you'll see a lot of individual slits running through there so that's all we're looking for not too many singles this time of the year I think I'm just gonna drift the tarpon highway let the wind blow me that way and get to the outside edge and just let it drift me well sitting on anchor over here have not seen any tarpon no flats boats are out that's not a good sign <laughs> in regards to being the uh tarpon hour during the day nobody just me so i'm pretty close to one of my uh tarpon spots along the mangrove so maybe i'll go over there play a little bit and then come back drift this a little bit later in the evening and then stop over at the bonefish spot on the flats there see if the water cleans up a bit if i have any visibility but not much going on today all right just as i said that i see some coming there's a school of them right there right there oh 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 that spooked them it turned them Why did you guys spook? Oh, I do have weeds. Wow, they were... I didn't even cast close to them. But they were freaking moving. Wow, oh, that's quite a disappointment there. I'm gonna have to throw the little esky shrimp maybe they're that spooky. Man, it's just the fluke. It's non-weighted fluke. And I was way ahead of them. Oh, there goes another one that went past me. Came across this way. Didn't even see him until he was over here. Well, that's two in like 
three minutes when I was just about ready to leave. That was a full size guy. I was coming under the bridge and I went by that tree there. And there was a bunch of something. I'm not sure what they were. Not snappers. They look like either baby snook, baby tarpon. Not sure, but I'm gonna drift it one more time, see if I can see what they are. All right, I think the tide is reversed. Uh, but underneath this tree, a bunch of blue runners down there. See if I can see what they were. Oh, right here. Look at all these. What are those? What are those? I got one, whatever it is. Oh, snook. They are a bunch of snook. Big old school of snook. Look at all the snook. Look at all the snook. That's all snook. I thought they were snook. I was right. <laughs> awesome. Whoa. I'll let you go, man. I just wanted to see what you were. I'm glad you confirmed it for me. Ugh. There was a few bigger ones down there when I first went through. They were just sitting still. But then I saw all these, a whole school of them start running down. Yeah, got ourselves a little snook. Look at that. Skinny, they're just like I thought. Beautiful picture with my pink esky shrimp. That is so beautiful looking. All right, buddy. Thank you for confirming for me. Shucky, shucky. Go for sharks. All right, get out of here. Huh, now that's cool. Snook spot. Get a little closer here. Bet you they're hanging out underneath those mangroves. Oh, I see them down there. Look at all of them. Holy crap, look at all those. Look at all those snook. Yeah, I've got them spooked. I'm gonna bounce one right through there. Yeah, there's still more of them. Yeah, I got them spooked. Look at all those snook. Look at all of them. Look at them. <laughs> wow, crappers. Yeah, they definitely know I'm here. They said, you see anything pink, don't eat it. You get some bad stuff going on. All right, off to the tarpon. Maybe we'll hit this on the way back. Can always use a good bucket, if it's a good bucket. Looks like it might be a good bucket. Are you a good bucket? It's a bit slimy bucket, but. Yeah, it's a good bucket. No damage, no cracks. Solid. Nice. Oh, there's some rolling right there. 
Oh, do I throw the pink? No, I need the fly rod. Gotta have a fly rod. Drop the anchor. Pound it off. Alright. Where are you guys at? Or did I spook you? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are over there. There they are. They're just sitting there. Oh! Something hit it. Perfect right in front of them. Oh! Looking at it. Now they're all swimming towards me. Don't swim towards me. Someone take it. Show more take it. They're all coming right at me. Look at all of them. Oh, saw me. Oh, that spooked them. <laughs> Got them trapped at least. wants it it's playing with it he's nosing it then that happened somehow it offended him why did it offend you that wasn't good all right these tarpon don't want to play plus I have a uh, low light so it's hard to see him so let's run back to those snook and then back to the Atlantic Flats and see how the water is out there. Ooh, they're moving away. Oh, I need more fly line. Just a little bit more. All right, there we go. That should be good. They're perfect. Ooh. Oh, right there. Come get it. Ugh. A little bit more. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Right in there. Oh, there it goes. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Snook on the fly. <laughs> that was pretty good I did good oh my god oh no what is happening oh no stop oh no 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 oh he wants to get in there <laughs> yeah buddy you've been snookered ooh there's a nicer snook in there that brought those guys out Break my rod. Snook on the fly. Oh, he swallowed it. Dude, I want my fly back. Oh, I don't want to give you this fly. Please be easy to remove. Oh, I could get you out. I could get my fly back. <sighs> Boom! Got my fly back. Got my snook on the fly. Ouch. Get out of here. There's more in there. Let's see if they're fired up. Thinking that it's a food run here. Alrighty, we are back. The sun is setting. 
the car is all loaded up i'm ready to go uh things didn't work out as planned uh plan a was the bonefish and didn't see any of them but the good part about that is i confirmed these are not low tide spots they just are not there they push out and they're gone until that water level is back up uh, the juvenile tarpon were on lockjaw with that reverse tide and then these weird west winds so they didn't like that and uh i, I couldn't even get them to look at the fly um, and then big tarpon i didn't see very much out there i saw a single and one little school uh but that was about it so that's kind of surprising doesn't want to make me grab my big fly rod and spend an evening chasing them if there's not that many out here thank god for the uh the snook i'm gonna call that spot my snook tree spot but there's tons of them there so uh i can hit that whenever i want to snook at least i think uh again right conditions uh, I'll, I'll do a little better job at getting some better baits and then uh, I think I'll have a better shot at catching some of those bigger ones But uh, there you go. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video Bye